to the latest in our series Streamline, where we bring you some of the biggest films and TV series hitting digital screens worldwide. Speaking with some of the actors and creators behind them, and tonight ABC's Will Gann spoke with star and executive producer Bridget Everett and her co-star Jeff Hiller of HBO's hit series Somebody Somewhere about the show's unexpected rise and what they're learning about life on the better side of 40. It's like the first time you fell in love. I've never been in love. You're the only person I know that would do anything for me. Somebody Somewhere is a love story, but maybe not the kind of love story you're used to seeing on TV. I think it was important to us to do something that isn't like woman meets man, falls in love, and he changes her life, like in the romantic sense. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to have something that where the friendship is a central love story. I mean, it is like a love letter to friendships. There are so many folks out there, myself included, the greatest love stories of my life are my friendships. Me too. I just feel like... I, I spent a lot of time in life like Sam kind of um, holding up and you know staring at the walls and things, but it's the friends that I met that, that worked hard to crack a, a rough exterior, <laughs> and um, I feel like it's important to kind of put, to shine a light on that. You brought me home. In Somebody Somewhere, Bridget Everett plays Sam, whose life seems stalled in her small town until she meets Joel, played by Jeff Hiller. For so many people to watch and see a story about people on the wrong side of 40 <laughs> <laughs> who are still living and still have dreams and still have hopes and aren't just supposed to be like, oh, well, it's over. Go yeah. ahead, 22-year-olds, live it. <laughs> I mean, I would say that we're on the right side of 40 now if it yeah. weren't for the incontinence, but I do feel like <laughs> wiser and, and, you know, more confident now. Even though I still struggle with that, I still, I feel... Like, just <laughs> listen to your voice. The show is inspired by Everett's real-life experiences, battles, and journey to self-discovery. Now she's writing, executive producing, and starring in Somebody Somewhere on the right side of 40. I don't think of myself as a boss. I think of myself as number one on the call sheet, and you're number two, so we're, we're, we're pretty close. <laughs> neck and neck. But, yeah, neck true. and neck. Uh, how does it feel being number one on the call sheet? Really good. <laughs> <laughs> what would you tell younger Bridget about the day that she's number one on the That's call it, sheet? I'd say get out of your own way and take a chance on yourself. At least you're doing what makes you happy, right? Look, it landed me on HBO, so... <laughs> I mean, I guess I also had a little talent and... You know, cut that out, cut, cut that out. Perseverance? Yeah. Pers a lot of tenacity, right? I think yeah. that takes tenacity and, and just believing in yourself. And I think I wasted a lot of time not believing in myself, and I'm, that's the one thing I would change. And how could he have gotten it so wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like a linebacker? I don't want to look like a linebacker. You look <laughs> linebacker Jason. <laughs> Where does Bridget end and Sam begin? Well, I think Sam is willing to take bigger emotional strides than I am. I feel like I'm one step behind and I'm learning from her along the way. But, you know, you meet somebody like Joel and Jeff and it's they're undeniable, so you sort of have no choice but to, uh, to uh, fall in love with living again. Don't do it. Don't ruin this moment, please. I really love you. Joel? I love you. On screen, Jeff Hiller's Joel juggles being both Christian and gay in this small Kansas community. You know, I see myself a lot in Joel. He is kind of the Venn diagram of where being a Christian person and a, a queer person, you know, a lot of your audience, I assume, sees themselves in. I've never seen this person portrayed on TV, ever. Um, I think usually gay plus church equals persecution in pop culture. And um, there are so many queer people in small communities or you know rural communities, but also in cities that um, find their community in, in, a, in a faith setting. And um, it's nice to see lots of different types of people on TV. What do you hope that audiences see when they see that community thriving on screen? I think that it just, you know, your found family is there. You know, you mm. just, just keep looking, you're going to find your people. Um, whether that's New York City, whether that's a Big Apple or the Little Apple. Um, that's what I take from it, but I don't know what you think. What do you think? I 100% agree. <laughs> and it's not just because she's my boss. <laughs> You know, when you're writing a script for this show, how do you strike the perfect balance between heavy and laughter? And sometimes it's like 
on a whim. You know, in my family, there was a lot of uh, laughter and deflection, right? <laughs> so you sort of let the pain in where you have to, and then and then pop it back up with a with a, a light moment. I want to ask about Mike Haggerty, who um, you know was such a felt loss in the world, and I'm sure especially in your world too. Uh, in the show, he his character Sam's father didn't die. Carolyn Strauss, who's one of our executive producers, said that you know we really had so much grief in season one, and and she thought it would be better to to um, you know he goes down to Corpus Christi, he's on a boat with his brother, and. And that way, you know, he was so vital. He was such a, a full of life person. So it's our way of kind of bringing him with us. What is next for you all? I mean, individually for the show, what are you able to share? We're getting married. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I went the gifts. <laughs> um, uh, George Stephanopoulos is uh, officiating. Again, I'm constantly <laughs> losing out to George. <laughs> Well, we need we need uh, somebody at the guest book, so uh, exactly. <laughs> it's a great job for me. Um, well, I think we're we're both I think we're both hoping for a season three, but we'll see how that goes. It's telling a story that I haven't seen on television before, and in so many ways, it feels like it's telling my story. And I know that a lot of folks who watch it feel that way about it. So thank you for thank you. Thanks bringing for having us. the warmth into you know a, a, a very cold world sometimes. So mm -hmm. really appreciate you both. I thank love you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.